Um, what, that's, a, that's a good question. What role does the um, film and uh, drawing have in my practice? I think that um, I've always drawn, ever since I was little, like since I was about three years old, I was always drawing pictures. And but I didn't go to art school, it was just something I did to express myself. It's as if it was like my language to talk, it's my relaxation. It's like taking a cigarette or a vodka. I mean, it just really just relaxes me. But it wasn't something that I thought I would do as a job. And then um, got into performing actually first and then moved into film making. And then I just always thought that the drawing related actually more to my performing and how I like to make film. The films that I've made so far, I've made three. I've made more like I think I'm drawing them than as if I'm doing a proper script. I really like writing dialogue. So I think what I'm doing is making little cartoons, not actually making this proper narrative, three-act structure, be a crescendo and a little drop-off at the end uh, film. I like to do stuff that's kind of, in my, in my thought, more vibrant, which I feel drawing is, a bit more wet and a bit more... Uh, mm. <laughs> um, just like off-the-cuff, first draft, not, not so measured. But then, of course, in the edit, I then have to go through the film and make it a bit more proper for the screen. But um, I think, yes, I think that's... Um, so yeah, I was really interested in exploring um, uh, <laughs> my, my relationship to being Jewish, but I'm a secular Jew, I'm not religious, I've never been religious, I've always been a secular Jew, and who I was brought up with was more the writing of people like Philip Roth, the films of um, Woody Allen, and, and these kind of American Jews, and uh, my dad's an American Jewish man, so um, my mum was English Jew. <laughs> So, um, but when I went to, uh, my feeling of being Jewish, even though it was secular, was I still felt the men were in charge, and I've always, you know, I went to a synagogue for whatever reason, we were sitting upstairs, and the men were downstairs, and they had all the power, it just frustrated me, and maybe looking at Philip Roth books, and Woody Allen, the way they looked at women was like, yeah, it was, it was like, I love women, oh, come on. It was very, it's kind of a turn, I find it a turn on. I also find it really irritating. I kind of want to be those men that go and pick the girls up and they're these kind of little dweeby Jewish men that get away with it. And I suppose I really wanted to, um, I wanted so much for this film. You know, I called it the Book of Gabrielle, which is quite a biblical sounding. I want to make it like the Book of, the book of um, you know, like a, bi a Bible book. And I kind of really wanted to say, what would it be like if I wrote a Bible book um, and I wrote it about sex uh, and tried to get away from, yeah, the kind of patriarchy that's in my head. Even if I think I'm a feminist, I'm a lesbian, and I've done all the right things, that man's still in my head and he's still around. I mean, he's still around in society a lot. Bloody, you know, he's getting in power again. And um, kind of felt that the Book of Gabrielle, that's why the title, it was had this kind of biblical thing. Um, and then I wanted to have this conversation with these men that I've known since my childhood, the Woody Allens, the Philip Roths, who I've loved and also hated, and half wanted to be, and half got turned on by this stuff. You know, not, not recent Woody Allen, but I mean, old Woody Allen, I loved it. And um, their kind of questioning and honesty. So it's a real love-hate thing, and I wanted to explore that. Um, yeah. Well, I was thinking, in a way, um, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that, and initially I thought, too often I do, I mean, I, I'm talking about me, Gabrielle, but it is me really, <laughs> um, that I maybe um, wanted to explore the man inside me, that sex, the sexual man inside me that comes out when... I was with men, didn't like it, so I went out with women instead because they were all more into it. I obviously found them wrong. Well, I'm, I, but anyway, I never am very good at defining. I've, I've never been a great definer. I feel I am quite a fluid person in my head, so. Um, but um, God, there's quite a lot of questions. I'm not on, I'm, I'm going off on tangents. I did feel it's really interesting to explore maybe the man in me, the woman in me, because I feel I change all the time. I'm not one or the other. I know I look as a woman. But inside, sometimes I'm a real tough man. Yeah. <laughs> Not that anyone believes me, but um, 
that's why I find the Woody Allen people quite interesting because I think they think the same thing. They're these really dweeby men, but inside they're these really macho men. Hey, that's me. You want to see what I'm like? And they're not. And I suppose I feel the same way as a woman. And I quite like when other women do it too. And they go, I've got a big dick. Oh, you've got a big dick. Um, and I know there's a whole trans movement that I probably feel I can really know what they're talking about because I also have my inner man. I just do it in a different way. Um, and I feel we've all got a bit of that in us. But... Um, I'm doing it, I suppose, as a lesbian with my inner man. And, um, and in the book, but sometimes I felt in life that I concentrated too much on a man. And I thought, is there a woman in me? Maybe I've, I've been too man all the time. And that was what the journey of my character is. of like, maybe I have to just remember the woman as well. The man in watching this might think, oh, I actually feel the same way as her. <laughs> but maybe we've all got to, I wanted to find my inner woman. And that was what the film was about, was not only looking at my inner man, but... I just thought getting a kind of sexuality that was back to being woman-like. Personally for me, just because I was too penis. I, my inner penis was too much taking over. <laughs>